What's up YouTube, Jay Travelin here. Today I'm gonna to talk about the 6800 XT and the 6800 and uh, mining hash rates that I've seen people getting online. So while researching the card, I came across a video by Dizzy Mining and also Bisbee Trippin' just showing the hash rates that they're getting. So we'll look at those videos. I'm not gonna play the whole video, but I'll put a link in the description below so that you guys can check the videos out if you haven't seen them already. Uh, but we'll see what they're getting hash rate wise and my thoughts on it. All right, so this is the video I was looking at by Dizzy Mining. Like I said, I'll put the link in the description. But this is the hash rates he was getting pretty much at stock settings. So if we fast forward it a little bit, you can see him here. He'll start overclocking and tweaking a little bit and changing some of his settings. So as he's changing them, then he starts getting up towards 58 mega hash still 59.5 mega hash 59 he tweaks a little bit more and he's looking at 60.4 mega hash so if we look closer to the end of the video he starts getting it up to 62 mega hash with pretty much his memory maxed out uh, he has a memory maxed out. He's pulling 161 watts, it says, uh, at his power limit. His frequency is 4026 as he's sliding it down. Uh, but 62 mega hash a second. So looking at this, 62.8 mega hash a second now. So 62.8 mega hash a second. Now that's not too bad. That's pretty decent, especially at 160 watts like he was at. But the question is how much are these graphics cards and how much is it worth getting one? Now he's only done one test on nano miner and I get the point that they're not really optimized for mining yet. People haven't really BIOS modded them at all yet. In fact, nobody's probably BIOS modded them yet. And all the miners are just starting to get, you know, used to their drivers and that card. But 62 just for out of the gate really doesn't seem like too too great i'd rather just go with a 5700 xt at that point but if we look at this other video from bitsby trip and he has a 56 non xt but he's going to be doing the smart access memory so if you look at in the beginning of the video he's showing his miners with the smart access memory you see how it has two GPUs, it looks like, when there's really one in the computer. So now it's splitting up and using more of the GPU's memory. So what I gathered from this video was it's got it 16 gigs of memory. And if you look at it, it was using eight. So with smart access memory, it kind of makes it act as if there's two GPUs. And if anyone watched the rumors around these graphics cars they were saying this GPU can get 80 mega hash a second and this is where they're they're talking about this smart access memory uh, these guys are on Windows he does a a few things with it so let's see what he's got here when it builds a DAG eighty mega hash a second so when you, and this is where he points out that it's using 8.9 gigs of memory from the uh, GPU instead of uh, before it was using a little over four uh, while he was mining Ethereum. So it pretty much doubles his memory and acts as a second GPU. Um, so when he turned it off, it just came up with one GPU and he was getting, I think about the 60 mega hash a second, but when he turned it on, he got 40 per side so almost like he had two GPUs getting 40 mega hash a second he showed a little bit of the wattage rates um, so I mean it's definitely gonna pull a little bit more wattage this way but you're also getting 20 more mega hash a second and this is the non XT model so if we had a 6800 XT I'm sure he can get a little bit more out of this than uh, what he's getting here but this just shows you uh, enabling the smart access memory in Windows now with the smart access memory, another thing I'm thinking is, I'm wondering if it's gonna be on Hive or Simple Mining 
or nice hash or if it's just going to be in windows just for now until they get the kind of softwares so we're looking at it and uh with the smart access memory enabled it's definitely a good graphics card for mining uh, i have heard rumors i haven't seen anything on uh youtube right now research it too much of people with 3080s getting a stable 100 mega hash a second at around 200 watts um, i mean 200 watts out of a gpu is a lot of wattage i run my most of my gpus hover around my 1060s are in like the 80 watts per card range my p104s are 125 watt range and my RX 5600 XTs are hovering around 100 watts per card right now. So, I mean, 200 watts pulling out of a card is a lot of power. Uh, obviously, you would need the power supplies to, for that if you're running, especially if you're deciding to put together a six-card rig. I've yet to see anyone put together a six-card rig just because it's so hard to get these graphics cards right now. Uh, and even the 3080s and 3070s are very hard to get uh, also. But, I mean, if you can use the smart access memory get 80 mega hash a second... Uh, consistently, depending on if you can keep the wattage down to like the 160 watts, I would say that that's pretty fair and that's a pretty good card for mining. Uh, if it's going to be a, above, I'd say 160 watts, you could always go with 5600 XTs or 5700 XTs. I know the 5600 XTs people BIOS mod those, and they've been pulling around 40 to 43 mega hash a second uh, at around 80 to 90 watts per card which would put you just about where that 6800 XT would be or 6800 with the with the memory setting but you'd also be spending a lot met, less per GPU. I think when I bought my 5600 XTs I spent around 289 per GPU. Uh, right now I've seen on the same website which was Amazon and Newegg they're up at 309 per GPU and they're also not going to be in stock until almost Christmas time. Uh, but I mean I guess I just bought them at the right time. But my takeaway from this video is, I mean, it's definitely a good graphics card to mine with. Uh, is it the best dollar per value uh, per hash rate? I'm not sure. I'd have to see more people getting their hands on them uh, and seeing what they're doing with overclock settings and probably won't really know for a couple months when somebody figures out how to BIOS mod it or BIOS mods it if they're able to now and really sees how far they can push it. Uh, right now, it's just people with stock BIOS uh, pushing overclocks as much as they can and seeing what they could achieve uh, but two great videos all the links in the description you know let me know what you guys think about the 6800 xts and 6800 models uh, let me know if uh, you think nvidia nvidia's new cards might be the better way to go with mining this this time around or if you think amd still still is winning in the mining pool uh, just from rumors and speculation it seems like nvidia's new line of gpus is going to lead the race as far as getting the most hash rates on from what I can see, at least Ethereum, but I guess time will tell. But thanks for checking this video out. Make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. See you next time.